Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different in the spirit of Halloween. I did try and research this look a little bit and see if people had done it before. I mainly found a few, but they weren't really what I had in mind of what I wanted to do. So to attach the um, horn to my forehead, um, I'm actually going to be using the zombie skin, which is also from Just Essentials. This is $3.99. Um, I used this last year for my claw marks for Little Red Riding Hood. I was going to get spirit gum, but it is really strong. I, I, if I can do it with liquid latex, then I feel that would be a bit better. I have, after I cut it, I did file it down so it's nice and smooth because obviously I don't want to jam it in my head. Okay, so we're going to go in with the zombie skin. It does come with a little sponge. I'm just going to grab an old brush that I don't mind absolutely destroying because warding it will ruin your brushes. I might just use this actually old like bleach thing that I didn't use so get this in position like this oh thank god for liquid latex so it's on now I've just put a bit extra around the edges I will obviously need to do a lot more security on this and then what I'm gonna do is I've got some tissue here and what you do is you just separate it out you find the the crease or whatever so that you've not got two, you've got one bit, one sheet, if you see what I mean. Now I'm just going to start putting bits of the tissue paper around, make the base type thing, tear bits off. It's like a, what's it called? Paper mache thing. It looks incredibly ridiculous right now, but it, it will get better. And then you can just go around with scissors. I've lost my little scissors. So you can just go around with some scissors and just tidy the edges up. I just want to focus on the gap between the tissue and the horn and sort of try and make that a bit thicker just to give the base of the horn a bit more support. I look like a lunatic right now but it will work out, we hope, in the end. Okay so as you can see I've sort of wrapped a bit of tissue paper around, around it and then I'm just going to coat that again in the liquid latex and then trim off the excess because that's just going to give it a bit more support. Okay, so now that I've built up a few layers, I'm going to show you. I've built up a few layers across here, it's more going onto the... I'm trying to make it sort of symmetrical, but I also want it to look like skin, obviously, that's just been jammed. So I'm just pushing this bit down, making it nice and rolled and stuff. So now that I've got it in position, it, it ain't going anywhere. So what I'm going to do now is just literally try and pull a little bit on the edges and just trim it because obviously I want less of this stuff as I can get. Obviously if you're doing this be careful you don't cut your own head because last year when I did the little red riding hood and I was cutting the um, claw marks across my eye I actually did cut my eyelid. So you do have to be careful but you know beauty is pain, well in this case gore is pain. Like So there I've now like reduced it down a little bit so what I'm going to do now is because obviously I've just cut the edges away I'm going to get a bit, little bit more latex on my brush I'm just going to pat that around the edges just to flatten down the edges and make sure that they, they are sealed. Okay so now we're going to try and blend this beast in. I would have preferred to have had white toilet roll but I did not have any so I'm just going to put some foundation on the back of my hand and I'm going to get to my beauty blender and I'm just going to put that on the toilet roll. Okay, so this is what we've got now. I've just used the blood and the black eyeshadow to create or dimension in it I guess. Oh! You've got me! So I've now used the Kat Von D Pink Opal, Violet and Sapphire just to give a sort of unicorn-y 
vibe and then I just use pink opal on my nose and on my lip as well. Okay so now I'm going to be using the Nick A. Key New York, I don't know how you say that, um, lipstick and that's in the colour NMS16. I'm just going to use this lightly with this angled eyeshadow brush to apply it as a kind of contour. So literally you just go do a, lot, a gentle line, I'm not even putting a lot of pressure on, I'm just going backwards and forwards as you can see just to create the base of the line going up and intensifying the colour and then diffusing it. And I'm just going to take this stippling brush and I'm just going to pat it, I'm not going to rub it around, I'm just going to pat it to just blur it a little bit so it's not so intense. Now I'm going to go with secular motions at the bottom where the harsh line was and then I'm just going to do the same thing again, lightly doing that and I'm just going to do it on my nose as well. Now we've done the contour with the lipstick. What I've got is these gorgeous um, Stargazer Diamante Iridescent Crystals. This from Just Essentials as well, which is a glitter fix gel. So what I'm just going to do is select some gem, and then I'm going to create a teardrop thing. Also got this glitter, which is from Just Essentials, and this is the Stargazer Glitter Shaker. I'm going to create the shape of the tears that I want to do with and then with the glue and then put this little glitter on and then use the gems to sort of put here and there. So this is with my glitter tears added on. So I'm gonna add some gems to this now. As you can see, the holographic glitter is so beautiful. And I'm just gonna add a few random bits of um, gems. So I'm now going to go in with the W7 Delicious palette which is absolutely gorgeous and it comes with a little brush. This is $6.99 from Just Essentials. Um, it is basically a really good dupe for the Modern Renaissance palette. I'm going to go in with this shade first, this one, um, as a transition shade for the crease. Obviously <clears throat> I've got a lot going on with my horn and my tears so I'm not going to go too intense with everything else. And then using the angle brush that we used earlier for the contour, we're gonna use that color that I just said about. And we're just gonna buff that in to the crease. All right, so that's on there. And then we're gonna go in with this color next. This palette is so pigmented. It's prism starry eyes, but it's unicorn. Let's be honest. It's so beautiful. Put that on there, the base again, and then from that palette again, we're just going to pop on this pale shade at the end here, and I'm just going to use my finger to apply that. Just because the pink is so intense, you don't want to overload it. So that's the look that we've got now, and I'm just going to use this intense fluffy brush to buff that out. Make it the edges less intense, like that. And then I'm going to do my brows and brow bone highlight. So this is the eyelashes on, and I think they look really good. They're really light, they're really soft. I thought because the band was really thick that they were going to be really heavy. It's coming together. So I'm just going to take a brush carefully because we don't want to ruin everything that I've just done. Um, I've got a few um, normal hair bands and then I'm just going to use some little loom band ones towards the end as well. So I'm just going to gather up some hair first. 
I'm going to use a thin band for that. So what I'm going to do is just tie this up like this. I would if it didn't fucking snap on me like a little bitch. Wrap that around about four times and then tighten it. And then now that that's done, I'm gonna scrape together the next section. So I'm just gonna go ear to ear and then connect it to the bit that I just did. But I'm gonna make sure that I brush that in so I don't have any weird bumpy kinks or lines. <clears throat> there we are. And then I'm just going to use, oh hang on, yeah, I'm just going to use a normal hair elastic now. I can tell I'm going to just break all my hair elastics in this video. Right, so that's done, like that. So you see this centre bit here, I'm just going to keep lifting that up, like a little horse ponytail type thing. I'm going to move that down a little bit and let that do that and then we'll repeat that process so this is the finished result i did this sort of dressage horse situation here you can see a bit of my layers poking through which makes a bit of poo but um this is the uh i just used a nude lipstick and the lip topper from just essentials this is the look all together really happy with it if you like this video then please subscribe and leave a like and a comment below um, and if you do this look then let me know so I can have a look too. Thank you, bye!